Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me on this one. So my goal in this video is to share with you some of the information that I've been able to gather in preparation for TUI career program that opens in January. There is a career program that is run for those that are EU citizens by TUI and there's a career program that is run for the UK citizens as well. I was only focused on a UK citizen uh, career program initially. As you may see on my screen, uh, right now, so this is the TUI multi crew pilot license MPL, yeah, fight college. This one says, and this is the one for the EU citizens, and actually, specifically, it says Belgium and Netherlands. But if you're EU citizen, then you can apply for this one. Uh, the application for this rule are currently closed, they will reopen in January. Any further updates will be posted here. So, right now, we don't have much information about this particular program. But one thing that I want to recommend to you that are that are EU citizens that are thinking of applying, again, EU citizens, this doesn't apply to, any, to people from all over the world. It's only for EU citizens. Um, if you're interested in joining TUI Fly Belgium and their cadet program and you meet the criteria, you can apply for the vacancy of interest. So that's what I want to bring to your attention. How do you find the vacancy of interest? Of course, make sure you meet the requirements that I have on my screen right here. Um, like as the number one point here is being a EU citizen and of course you meet the rest of the requirements then you can go down to apply for the vacancy of interest which you will find at the bottom of this uh, section it's right there I'll leave the link below once you click that link it brings you to this page in which you can read pretty much just read more information about it you see the criteria again and then um you can apply now i have of course i can apply for it I, i'm not a huge citizen but you can apply for the program and then what will happen is once there's a vacancy or once the opportunity becomes available and they want to then invite people in for to, to apply and and uh, test then in that case you will be notified the assessment stages are the first thing you'd have to do is to do the uh, an online assessment which consists of an English test, a verbal reasoning test, logical reasoning test, and a numerical reasoning test. Then you have a phone call or an online call with an HR person. Then you do a face-to-face -face interview plus a group assessment. In this case, this will be done in Belgium. And then you do a similar assessment as well. And a board interview in Belgium, you do an online psychological assessment, and then another decision will be made. And of course you do the drug uh, test as well now this is for the belgium one like i said this we do not know exactly what date is going to open but it's sometime in january so that is something that i want you guys to keep in mind if you are a uh, uh, eu citizen and you meet the requirements so if you are a uh, eu citizen and you want to apply for this go ahead and apply so that you can get notified of the opening now let's focus on the uk um a program that opens on the 8th of January. Now, this one has a specific date and it closes on the 31st of January 2024. The assessment stages are different in you know, the process. Of course, make sure you meet the requirements for this one. It just says that you need to be eligible to live and work indefinitely in the UK without additional approvals. So that is something that you need to make sure you can uh, meet. The assessment process. The first stage for this is, uh, it says, uh, the first stage of the assessment process is submitting your application along with your CV. And this is something that I've been um, telling you guys, you know, CV, I know that we haven't, I might plan to do a live on this uh, sometime in December, but I hope that you guys already have your CV ready. Uh, at least you're working on it and you've hopefully worked in some of those pilot competencies into your CV. It's always good to get a second opinion. Um, if you can afford to get a second opinion from someone or pay a program that would do this second opinion check for you and make sure that everything is looking all right, then it is, it is worth doing that. Like I said, I, I thought of, you know, creating like some form of service just to give you a second opinion on your CV. Um, I haven't gotten to that yet. I've been quite busy. But if I can get it ready before this TUI program, program opens up, then of course I'll bring it out and share it with the, with the, with the group and uh, let you guys know but here's the thing your cv needs to show that you have the skills the transferable skills the pilot competency skills and things of that nature and of course you have some experience that hopefully would help you 
be a competent uh, candidate or at least applicant for this position. Then you have the stage two where you then do some questionnaire and online assessment. Now, this online assessment is where you, which is which is similar to the the Belgium TUI program as well. This is where you do the verbal test, the numerical test, and uh, logical reasoning test. And of course, you move on to stage three where you do some interviews. Stage four where you do some group exercises. Um, and then stage five is where you test with our TUI airline training teams. This will be a simulator test. So, you know, it's always good to have those flight simulator down so that you know exactly how to at least fly an airplane to an extent on the scene. Um, now, how do we prepare for this one? Down at the bottom, all right, I'm going to show you about two places. All right, one is you actually can prepare for the test by, as you can see, if I click here, which I haven't really explored this into details, all right, but um, you can prepare for the assessment. According to them, there are some practice tests that you can take and you have to sign in. Well, I didn't bother going into that just yet because again, I, this is something that depending on your qualification and the uh, your ability to apply for this, this will determine, will be one of the reasons why you want to practice this test, if that makes sense. like. If you meet the requirement and you qualify to for this program, then of course you want to start practicing this test. So these are some of the things you can start doing ahead of time. But most importantly, all right, is this one, all right, the TUI Flight Netherlands from PilotAssessments.com. You can check the link in the description box below. I've talked about this program. I've used Pilot Assessment in the past. It's a great uh, program to use to prepare for your assessment. And of course, TUI is one of the programs that you can uh, practice for. And this is good, as you can see, it says this package primarily focuses on TUI Fly Netherlands, but the content as well has as well successfully prepared candidates for TUI Fly Belgium, TUI Airways UK, and TUI Nordic. All right. And as you can see, it has literally most of the things that you'd have to take the psychology interview test, personality test, role play exercise planning exercise, mental math, reasoning test. And then there's even some simulator assessment as well, some HR interview as well, the Boeing 737 question test, part of TUI Belgium, all right, aviation English test, part of TUI Belgium assessment. So the point here is you have all the information that you need to practice. As you can see, you have a reasoning test, you have a mental math test, you have the planning exercise, your role play exercise, your personality test, your psychology interview, psychological interview, your HR interview, your simulator assessment, and then some more questions on the Boeing 737. And of course, you also get an ATPL uh, refresher course. Of course, you can use my um, discount code or coupon code, Steven Aviate, in the description box as well. You find it there, or you can use the referral link. You get a five uh, euro off your first purchase. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this to you guys right now is I want you guys to be well prepared for this opportunity. And hopefully, you know, by the time this application opens up, you are up to speed and you're not feeling rushed. You're not feeling stressed um, about the CV. Like I said, I plan to do a live and we're going to we're going to focus more on the CV. I would, of course, give a heads up once I have a date for the live. If I do not do that live because of work, then I'll at least make a video talking about it. So I want you guys to know that this is something that I'm really tracking. I'm really working on getting more information for you guys. And hopefully you guys would have all the uh, tools and all the information you need to excel. My hope and goal is for you to be able to achieve your goals and dreams of becoming a professional pilot. And I know that it's quite expensive and having programs like this definitely is worth bringing to the channel. And I hope that if you, if you uh qualify and you can apply for this please take advantage of the of these programs and i hope that you will make it through don't forget to drop a like on this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'd love to see you in the next one